In this video, we will show you some suggested steps for measuring brush wear and for cleaning brush dust from an auxiliary power unit starter motor as defined in this service information letter. Operators have requested that Honeywell provide a means to extend the life of the starter while also minimizing the chances that the motor will fail, cause an unscheduled maintenance action, delay, or cancellation. In response, we have issued a service information letter with some suggested steps that an operator can follow to clean brush dust from the starter motor end bell, which may help to reduce starter motor failures. The cell describes how to measure brush wear, which may be used to estimate the remaining life of the starter. The service information letter has a lookup table that can be used to calculate the maximum recommended interval until the next brush inspection. As a baseline, Honeywell suggests operators consider performing the steps in the service information letter every 500 to 1,000 APU operating hours and that 2,000 APU operating hours be considered the maximum interval between inspections and cleanings. Honeywell is aware that there are starter motor inspection and cleaning tasks currently published in other maintenance documents. This service information letter does not negate or supersede those other maintenance documents, but it is our hope that as OEMs and operators see the benefits of the service information letter because it minimizes opportunities for maintenance-induced damage, would standardize starter motor cleaning and brush inspection procedures across all 36100 and 36150 APU models, and gives operators the chance to schedule a starter motor replacement at an opportune time, the tasks and the other maintenance documents will be revised in time to adopt the procedures in this cell. Follow all local safety precautions when using compressed air. Use correct eye protection and hearing protection as needed. Okay, let's get started. First, loosen, but don't remove, the screws that clamp the end cover to the starter motor. When the screws are loose, slide the end cover off the end bell. Be careful when you remove the end cover because there may be a significant amount of brush dust that comes out of the starter. Okay, good. Now we can inspect the brushes for any obvious damage and to make sure they are free to move in the brush holders. Gently pull up on the brush leads and make sure the brush is free to move. If a brush is stuck in its holder or if it's cracked or broken, or if a brush lead is loose, the starter motor will need to be sent to an approved Honeywell repair facility. Make sure you inspect all four brushes. So we want to measure the distance from the outside diameter of the end bell to the top of the brush. Make sure you position the micrometer like I'm doing here. You might have to move the brush lead a little so you can get to the top surface of the brush with the micrometer. We're going to measure all four brushes this way. Looks like that measured about 535 thousandths. I'll call this brush number one. Looks like that one measured about 540 thousandths. I'll call this brush number two. Okay, moving on, looks like that one measured about 537 thousandths. I'll call this brush number three. Looks like that one measured about 534 thousandths. I'll call this brush number four. The paperwork with this starter motor says it was installed on the APU for almost 2200 APU operational hours. The table does not show a value for 2200 op hours, but it does have a value for 2000 op hours, so let's use that line. We don't want to round up because we would then be taking a chance that the brushes would wear out before the next inspection interval. The largest measurement we took was 540 thousandths, which is between 534 and 551, so we'll use that column and see where it intersects with the 2000 APU op hour line. So the maximum recommended interval until the next brush inspection is 500 APU op hours. If our measurement had been 570 thousandths or greater, the brushes would have been worn past their limit and the starter should be sent back to an approved Honeywell repair facility. 
Everything checked out okay, so the only thing to do now is to install the end cover back on the starter motor. It's pretty obvious how the cover goes on. Tighten the screws on the cover to a torque of 20 to 25 inch pounds, which is equivalent to 2.26 to 2.82 newton meters. This unit is now ready for test. This video is for training purposes only and should not be used as a replacement for any technical publication.